This is the second MyTech product I reviewed. As a few years back, I had the Brooklyn DAC, which MyTech replaced by their Brooklyn Bridge, a DAC and streamer in one. The Brooklyn DAC required considered system matching, if we can put it like that, in the sense it did have good airy treble and a very focused mid-range presentation, but it did have tremendous outright detail and insight. This is the Improver Plus version of the original Brooklyn amp, a separate stereo amp which is a dual mono balanced class D amplifier. You've got balanced XLR inputs at the back, RCA line level inputs, obvious speaker terminal outputs and an IEC power input. And then all these little switches to configure whether to use speakers in stereo, bi amp or mono block modes or just use the USB interface to do the same thing. I've explained these terms in the description, by the way, to keep this video newbie friendly. This amp actually only weighs three kilos and measures. So considering it outputs a whopping 250 watts at eight ohms or 300 watts at four ohms, it's got more power and forcefulness than actor Christian Bale throwing a wobbly on a film set. I want you off the set, you with these specs, it can only be Class D. Too, someone's really thought about the design of this unit, the unique milled faceplate, which you can get in silver or black. Even if you look up close, you can see the little raised points where the milling machine makes each little dimple. The gray case too, and the logo punctured holes also add to the look. I actually like the logo that illuminates through the faceplate too, which can be in different colors and dimmed. If you can make a really well designed case and make the amp very powerful for its footprint, you can convince an awful lot of people that you don't need lots of decently sized boxes to get into an audiophile journey. And I think this kind of mini max hi fi idea is the unique feature of this MyTech. So I tried this amp initially with the Cambridge Audio CXN version 2 using the CXN as a streaming preamp DAC with monitor audio gold 100 speakers. What about putting this MyTech together with a tremendous RME ADI2 DAC FS I have on DAC and preempt duties? With the RME KEF LS50 Metas and using the Blue Sound Node 2i streamer, you have an even more accomplished hi-fi system, about four grand in pounds. Swap out the Blue Sound for a CD transport like my Cyrus CDT and you keep it to all half width boxes. It's basically hi-fi you can fit on one shelf or level of a hi-fi rack. Of all Class D amps I've reviewed, partner with the right speakers, there's little hint this MyTech is a Class D amp in its sonic character. It's often a trade-off. Class ABs generally handle tone better, but Class Ds with their gutsy and dynamic approach make music more rhythmic, and coupled with the good damping factor of Class D, control of music is really good. But this MyTech sounds much more like Class AB amps, and that's its first standout trait. So think of all their qualities, a good dose of refinement in bass and mid-range, but tonally not too thick like a Class A or tube amp. Speed on side because the extent to which the music starts and stops is not masked by the tonal qualities of the amplifier, which is why personally I'm a fan of solid state more. You just can't get Underworld, Fortet, Ultramarine, or Sabres of Paradise sounding as good without solid state. So it's the best friend of an electronic fiend like me, but it also means accuracy and detail generally for all types of music. 
The long-held chords and electronic synthesizer sparkles in Jean-Michel Jarre's Oxygen Part 5 show off this amp is all about exploiting micro details in music when you pair it with detailed speakers like my PMCs. And that standout trait too really, a nice sparkly treble, but it sits where it should, not pervading the lower mid-range like some Class D amps can. Also, trait three is the sense this amp is expansive with a characteristic sound of space and openness, particularly forward and backwards. And I'd say that with these traits, it does give the impression it performs above station. I'm not gonna say punch is above because that's just too cliche, but like a Cyrus Audio Class D amp I really like, the Stereo 200, it seems to achieve a lot for its size and price. Okay, so this amp perennially and immutably shows that speakers and amps are a matching exercise and how important tone is in the mix. So even with the Hegel H390 I own being two and a half times the money, if the tone ain't right, the rest might not matter. I actually felt using the Hegel as a reference, whilst with better with my PNCs, unsurprising considering the price disparity to the MyTech, and the Hegel being a better amp on the whole with its analog qualities. With the Kef's rolled off top frequencies, the MyTech injects a bit more bite and incisiveness into the overall sound. There's more of a focus on detail with the MyTech and the Kef pairing. So what I'm saying is, is if I was in the mix for a power amp for the Kefs, the MyTech would be a possible contender. So summarizing, I wouldn't say it's a forward amp, going back to my points about impressions and assessment of ABMs, and my points about adding bite, but it has a sparkly top end treble with the most detailed speakers. And that's the point really, system matching. As part of this review, I did have a few of these amps fail with a probable mismatch to a certain component in my system, which itself has worked fine. Not using the component, the MyTech worked fine too. I decided the best course of action is to let MyTech investigate when the amps go back. So I'll update the description once I hear further. Thank you.